Hey everybody and welcome to Game Devs Play Games where we play games and talk game design. <laughs> Today we are playing the purring quest. The purring quest. Purr. Okay. Oh, you can do that so much better than Purr. I can. Uh, this is a game developed by Valhalla Cats. Valhalla Cats? Valhalla I think it's Valhalla Cats. The Valhalla Cats. There's no bravery in cats. I think they're Spanish developers, oh, if I'm not well, mistaken. I, am cool I might be wrong, but look them up. I mean, they're not too hard to find. Um, but they, they actually sent me this game. Oh, very cool. Um, and uh, I figured it, it might be fun to check out. I actually really like the art. I think the animation is actually really, like, nicely fluid. Yeah, but which you don't really. Cat. The kid's like. Right? I, I think it's all, like, hand drawn animations. Like, you can see that cat licking its crotch right now, and it's just like, <laughs> it looks beautiful. <laughs> it's a beautiful cat crotch. <laughs> uh, so I played it a little bit. I played, I think, the first level, so we're just gonna <laughs> save over that. Um, <clears throat> and we're starting at level one, which is the graveyard. So the, the story graveyard. goes, so you guys didn't get to see the opening cinematic, but basically the story goes, um, a couple falls in love, they adopt a cat, the, who lives forever. The Well, we'll get to that. The the lady um, dies from unknown reason. She just dies. The dude, the guy grows old and he's depressed because he misses the love of his life. The, the cat, cat never lives. ages. Like, the dude, like, jumps 50 years ahead in time. The cat is exactly the, the same. The cat's like, This is a little weird. Um, and the dude is visiting the gravesite of his loved one and kind of, you know, like, reminiscing and kind of crying about it. And sees some girl walk past who looks very similar to the, his loved the love of his life in like her younger form and uh just kind of walks off leaving us behind losing a little memento so us the cat uh, i don't know the cat's name i forgot his name um call him percival <laughs> percival yep i like that mm -hmm. uh so we, we watched as a crow flew off with it, so we are in the graveyard that we were abandoned at, and yeah, we're gonna what go... What a master. Uh, you know how you've been with me for, like, my whole life, cat? I'm gonna leave you here when you're probably worth a lot of money, because you never age. Yeah. Um, Alright, I'm calling my theory out for this game right now. Okay. The wife's soul is trapped inside the cat. Oh! <gasps> Actually, I would not be surprised. Yeah, it seems like that kind of game where that would actually be a thing. Yeah, right. As long as it doesn't go by on a commando where it's like, my wife is my arm. <laughs> like, my what? My wife is my cat. My wife is my my cat's tail. <laughs> like, uh... Weird. <laughs> Why do we just play a whole game as you? <laughs> so um, the game the game definitely plays better with the gamepad, by the way. I think the developer recommended that I use gamepad, so... <laughs> like, please... <laughs> please, please. And and I actually, I definitely agree. Using the keyboard and, and mouse, like it feels um, as as Harry Poppins would describe it, it feels splashy <laughs> with uh, the keyboard and mouse or a keyboard, really, because there's no reason you would use the mouse. But like, there's more momentum kind of mm. happening with the keyboard, and I don't really understand why. So we're gonna talk to uh, this cat here, Henry Lechatna. I mean, Le Henry, the, Henry the Dark Cat. I am black. Henry, the Black Cat, the great feline philosopher, the best fairy thinker of all time. Don't you have internet? I have a terrible French accent. No, keep going, I love it. Even the blind could see. <laughs> well, that was really that bad. Cat, really bad. Even the blind could see that you are lost. What are you looking for? I'm just gonna give up. I can't. No. Your owner? What do you think you are? A dog? You are a cat! So the devil. <laughs> we never let them scratch us voluntarily. <laughs> we do not expose our belly like a trophy. And we never go to a human if they never come to us. Never! What kind of cat-like caricature are you? So you are... Your human is lost, and that is why you are looking for him. I know many different cats, and all of them know how to pester me in a different way. However, you continue to the cemetery, yeah, you can find someone to help you search. Jesus. Okay, so. Cat. You have to talk that he's much. He's like philosopher cat. Okay. Wow, that was weird. But now that we've found him, he's going to show up in our little home in the start screen. Oh, that's and just weird. Like, it's one of my home stray cats. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that old man's getting kind of crazy. And probably all the cat, like, poop got to him eventually. And he's losing his mind a little bit. <laughs> there's just there's poop everywhere. It's getting in my system, the cat poop. 
Also, I find Life it is cat poop. I find it interesting that we are. Uh, there we go. Collecting like fish bones. I mean, like yeah, cats cats like fish, right? But like, yeah, I'd love to see the version of this game that's like um, it's like sponsored by Fancy Feast with little cans of Fancy Feast. Everywhere. Hey, man, that'd be a great sponsor. Yeah. I mean, I feel like if they blatantly had a sponsor like that it would be like well this is a shovelware game oh so okay when well, first time i played this game yeah. i uh you, you ditched that cat i well i actually didn't know that there was a swipe attack i oh. i just totally missed it in the tutorial somehow which was literally the second thing that displayed <laughs> yeah, right. um and i got to the there's a boss spoiler alert there's a boss in this level and i could not anymore. figure out what to do i kept jumping at him and i was like how do i hurt him and then i was like there's got to be something more and lo and behold, there is. Did you lose a life? You used to have seven. Yeah, I, I got hit by the first rat we encountered. Oh. Uh -huh. Thank you, Kim Ji. At least that evil cat did not take my purple harness for it was bestowed for it was bestowed upon me by someone very special. Why are you wearing a harness? Because he's a human cat, like human cat, like owned by human. Like a harness. Oh, I get it. Like a little body. Like yeah, ah, man. Ah, ah. Dude, if you're gonna take your cat out for a walk, you have to give him a full harness. Otherwise, he's gonna get out of that collar. I was just gonna duct tape him to me. Uh, yeah. Is that, that not okay? That, uh, uh, that well. Okay. Mm. Yeah, there's a Doverman Pinterest. I had that. that. That can't be an enemy. I think there's a sneak. Uh, how do I sneak? Well, you're not doing it right now, I'll tell you that. You're jumping. You're jumping. Boy. Maybe there is no sneak. I thought there was. Whoop! So yeah, this, I mean, really the game at its core is just a platformer game with like little secrets hidden around in each of the levels. Yeah, it's a um, disposition. I don't know if collecting these fish bones actually does anything. Well, if you notice at the menu screen, there's something that's a thousand of those. Yes. So and that does something. And I think this is a five level game. So presumably 200. there's 200 per level. Um, so I, it's probably, if anything, like an unlockable thing, or it could just be like an achievement hunters kind of thing, which... Honestly, I feel like in a platformer like this, um, it's kind of necessary to have yeah. this kind of like, I don't know, little keep achievements. Keep going. Yeah, exactly. Or even a reason to go back. Mm, that's fair. Um, that said, I I don't know if, oh, this is how we sneak. So I do that. That's how. You do the sneak. -a? Um, that said, I don't know if I think that their use of these little like things that we're collecting around in the environment is well used. How do I get out? Get out. Oh, that was a bad time to get out of there. You're missing all them dead fishies. It's fine, man. It's fine. Oh, so you're like, oh, this is the plan. I'm just going to follow the Doberman Pinscher yeah, and watch me rip away. Actually, I want to see him get ripped to shreds. Do it. So everything else in this game just damages you, right? Like, you hit the spikes and you're yeah. like, oh, I lost one of my cat lives, which I have seven instead of nine for some reason. Yeah, you do nine. <laughs> I know, right? That's a total lost opportunity um but if the doberman gets you you're just dead you die oh wow it's insta kill you probably insta die if you fall down one of those pits too yeah oh, oh. yep see i died although technically i think i still lost one of my health points because <laughs> like after it resets me it's like oh, okay now uh you oh, you're at four so you're at four before so whoa, i wonder if it just resets you because it's like oh he's just gonna keep like attacking you there was a time when the, the spikes on that gate were the thing that killed you. Dude, I that spot right there, it I seriously got injured twice as much as I did here. Um and partly because the keyboard controls were a little splashy. Splashy. Um but it's just like I don't know, it's so easy to get damaged there. It kind of feels cheap. Like it's just poor placement of some level props in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, it's one particular case, so it's not like at the end of the world. Right, it's not like, oh, this game is garbage because I, yeah, I killed a spike. Right, like, eh, whatever, it's just one little my level design kind of flaw. Yeah, but um, all games have those little things. Right, exactly. Let's get out of here. El Gato Loco. I still, I don't even know what I'd do to get out of there. Well, you got away. I did get away. Well, there's going to be another dog coming up. Hey, remember when I told... I'm standing on the dog. He'll yeah, never right. know. He'll never see me. Oh, man. There needs to be a checkpoint in between there, too. It is a rough place to keep putting you back at. 
This is what happens, man. I got one more life. I'm good. <laughs> you have one life to live. Oh, and the soap opera connections just happened. That's still a soap opera, right? I don't, I don't know. It's, it's, it sounds like a soap opera. I'm pretty sure it is, but I just don't know if it's still odd. One life to live. One life. One life to live. Although I, I much prefer watching my dad's <laughs> telenovelas, which are the Spanish soap yeah, operas. Yeah, yeah. Oh my, they're way more ridiculous. <laughs> They, I, I feel like anytime I go to a uh, like a Mexican restaurant, like a burrito joint. Oh yeah, they'll, they'll have telenovelas on. They'll they'll always have telenovelas. That's their jam, on. man. They are pretty they, oh, fantastic. Oh my dad used to watch this wonderful program. I forgot what it was called, but it basically it's like a dating game, but it matches you up by like um, your uh, astrology uh, things, It'll be like Cancers and Leos and Libras. And, like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure my dad just watched it to see the bikini parts of the show, but, you know. I mean, that's why anyone well, watches yeah, that, really. Know, so, but it's just so funny because you're like, <laughs> you don't even know why they're getting together on this game show. <laughs> that's pretty ridiculous. Like, oh, you're a Libra? Well, I'm a Capricorn. We, uh, you know, I'm we about meant to, to be. I'm about to offend some people who do astrology and they'll be like, Leos and Virgos would never be a thing. <laughs> you monster. Uh, I mean, oop, well, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> but we're about it. I... Well, let's, okay, let's, I'll beat this boss. Okay. And, uh, wait, how, how, how? Oh, uh, 12 minutes, not even. Oh, okay, yeah, we still have plenty of time. I mean, I look, but you beat the boss. Just, uh, run into him and let him kill you. Well, okay, so what he does <laughs> is the boss swoops in, right, and he uh -huh. goes into that, like, little center point, but I forgot that he hunts you down before he goes over there. So I was like, oh, he'll just go to the center spot and then I'll swipe him and then I'll run away. I was like, nope, <laughs> no. actually, I'll just let him run straight <laughs> That was me. so good, though. <laughs> that just provided me so much entertainment, so don't ever regret that, ever. <laughs> to be fair, I was probably going to take yeah, damage anyway. Yeah, no, it's fair. At least do it early and not when you almost beat him, you know? I'm gonna laugh, though, if I beat him without taking any damage here. And I'm like, well, I guess I could have done this 100%. Ow. I'm a crow. So, boss is not the most interesting. I mean, he's a level one boss. Yeah, yeah, no, it's just kind of tedious. But here's okay. So here's my thing about him: is he doesn't really switch up his attacks. He has two different waves. So he just switched it up here. But this is a principle in game design, among many other things, including things like comedy, for example. Yeah. There's a rule of threes, mm -hmm. um, and three is sort of the golden number for how many times you repeat something before it gets redundant or or boring, yeah. And so I think he did five or six attack cycles um, before he jumped to this, di this different one. Um, wow. And it's it's a little too much, right? Like Yeah, it just gets a little, it's, it gets tedious. Exactly, it, it, and it's too predictable. And the art artwork is wonderful, don't get me wrong. It looks great, but it's just a little lacking. Yeah, I, no, I actually, I do really like the, the art of this game. I think if... You beat it? Yep, I beat him. I think if anything, this game, if it's lacking anything, it actually is. Um, it's it's level design. Yeah. At the end of the day, and like not to say that it's bad. It actually is fun. It's it's no. just like it doesn't feel. Um, I think the level design doesn't feel as polished as yeah. things like the art is. Um, like it's not keeping up with it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but that's I, that's all I think we're gonna play for that's this purring quest. Um, purring game. The the purring quest. The purring quest. But absolutely vote if you want to see us play more of this yeah. because we will. Yeah, I mean, will. It's, it's not a very long game. It's a five level game, as far as I understand. So you know, like we'll, as far as I know. Uh, if anything, we could get a minimum of like four more episodes, but probably more out of this. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so. Vote in this little voting section right now if you want to see more. If and if not, then vote in any of these other games, and uh, we will play one of those instead. But uh, yeah, yeah, just make sure to comment, guys. Uh, and and uh, well, before we wrap things up totally, what are you, what are some of your final thoughts about this game? So okay, the artwork I think it's wonderful. Um, mm -hmm. There's something really wholesome about the artwork. That's a good word for it, um, actually. Yeah, you know that, that's what I'm gonna go with. There's something very pure about the artwork. My biggest problem, though, is I just feel like there's a lack of um, a lack of variation so far. 
that's I, I think you hit the nail on the head yeah. actually the and, and that's why I think like the collect them all kind of level design doesn't really work for this so well yeah um just because it's like it's a it's just the same thing and a lot of that same thing like having I think if anything they should have had maybe like 25 of those fish <laughs> yes 200 all two 200 200 like is like Mario on crack it's just like I don't even have to look for them. They're just all right there yeah, in front exactly. of me. Exactly. There's no like searching. Like, yeah, you found that one cat. And, and it kind of takes some of the fun out of it. And yeah, there were some of the more hidden elements. Um, and obviously in level one, it should be a little bit easier to find right, those. Right, absolutely. Um, but like finding things and collecting them all, I feel like doesn't justify the level design. It needs a little bit more. Yeah, no, I totally agree. I, th I think less fish would have been a great move. I, I think that but would be the start, right? I, I think that's a good question to ask, though, everybody. I think I, I feel mm. like I feel like just just at least based off of this first level. That's fair. Um, do you do you think? Are you saying like what would you guys do to kind of better the level design? Yeah. What what kind of tweaks would you make to make? this first level and, work and using all of the same mechanics right we're yeah, not saying no, we're not don't changing. we're not we're not saying like adding new things we're saying like how would you modify the things that were there to make it more engaging yeah, does it absolutely. mean shorter levels does it mean you know less fish or does it mean like or does it mean more fish i mean really it, yeah. you we want to hear from what you guys think yeah absolutely so comment below about that guys share it uh, get your friends on this uh yeah and if you really like this video please subscribe um we love having our Long time viewers, we love our fans. <laughs> um, they're great. Thank you for watching, everybody. See you guys later. See ya.